When Jervin Smith did his first event series in 2016, he had no idea what he was doing, relying on business skills he gained as a loans broker to guide him with his Heineken sound clash. Illusions promotions took off. He met local artists like Ras Copper and Peter Runks, who sparked him to tap into the local music industry. Starting Illusions Promotions Records would be his next move. So we end up hooking up with Peter, and uh, ever since we just was doing music, we started, we did our first project, which was actually a whole album, Life in the Ghetto. Because like Peter, both of us, I'm from the Bow Street, Peter from Smith says despite his lack of formal training, business is business and he is in it for the long haul. He wants to empower Bahamian artists and see them flourish like our regional neighbors. I look at the Destries, I look at the Sizzlers, the Bounty Killers, the Beanie Man, where music now has become the way out for the Jamaican artists, which is our Caribbean brothers and sisters. So I say, well, if the Jamaicans can do it, if they can have a Bob Marley, if they can have a Sizzler, a Capitan, a Wise Cartel, a Beanie Man, where are the wise captains and beanie man Bahamians? Smith says artists on his roster are equal partners in the business, pairing their talent with his resources. My goal was to not put a financial burden on them to do what they love. My artists right here in this room here could tell you we have a joint venture deal. 50-50 minus expenses. The Illusions roster has 20 active artists, but Smith says he's found his fair share of bad breaks. Artists who want the fame without getting their hands dirty. A lot of the artists just think that me just put out a song and I can be a hit. So they say, okay, let me sign and they do one song and then you don't see them no more. They expect that the one song is supposed to, you know, you got people like Peter that will be in 20 years and have albums and catalogs and even then, you might have one song with the whole catalog that really blows up. Jamaican officials recently confirmed a $10 million boost to dancehall, recognizing the art form as a major cultural product. Smith calls on the government to follow suit, saying we are more than just tourism, banking, and finance. At the end of the day, we, we, we need the intervention of the government. We call it the orange economy, with the creatives. We need the, 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 the government to help with partnering the major Netflix, and so even with the, the TV creators, the producers, movie producers, filmmakers, you understand what I'm saying? You need a, just a seat at the table just to talk to the executives. In the meantime, the record label is gearing up for an October 10th release date and wants to partner with other businesses to push the music industry further. At the end of the day, I see, I see the next level for the young artists like and these guys. I could see it. It's only a matter of time for us to get it. And that's what he said. The Bible says, if you, if you reach for your hand, I shall bless it. Smith invites you to reach out to Illusions Promotions Records on social media. Reporting for our news, arts and entertainment, I'm Gene Joseph.